2008, full iron and a steel pickaxe was all it took for me to fall in love with this game. And now I can't say it's perfect, but this high fantasy clicker game has had my heart for 14 years. And for some reason, I just don't really enjoy games the same way I enjoyed playing RuneScape for the first time. And I mean, it's no secret, games aren't the same, right? Gaming has shifted so much of the focus to multiplayer, dances and skins, battle passes and loot packs. The era of battle royales has no doubt changed the industry forever. You get it, right? Well, okay. I mean, I guess to be fair, RuneScape is an MMO RPG, and a lot of the best memories playing Pokemon might actually just be you and your friends all playing the same game on the bus. And I don't know about loot boxes, but I've been opening Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, and Magic the Gathering packs for years. So what has changed then? Why do I feel like this? Why do you feel like this? Well, maybe it's not the games that have changed as much as it's the nostalgia you feel for the games of your past. That good pain you feel about the way things used to be. Nostalgia is like this perfect snapshot of a moment in time that's unfallible, rose-tinted, and forever ethereal. Yeah, that shit hurts. But like, why? You know, why? Why, why does it hurt? to look back at the good times. Is it all just a part of growing up? The world ain't the same as it once was, or maybe it's that you're not the same as you once were. I guess maybe you can't slip out of your shoes as easily nowadays, and you don't wanna escape from reality because you've got shit to do, you know? I mean, I get it, sometimes I get done recording or I stop streaming and I'm just kind of numb for a little bit, just a little bit, you know? And it's not that I don't love it or that you can't enjoy the things that keep you busy, but it's just a lot sometimes. And spending a whole evening playing through Halo 3's campaign honestly sounds like an anxiety attack waiting to happen in a, a game that has carried dozens of my lunch table discussions in my teens but now, I just can't do it anymore. It takes too much time away from the other things that are stacked on in my life that I just need to get done. Or at least it feels like that at the bare minimum. And somewhere along the line, pressing play in a game meant pressing pause on your real life. Now, the only achievement you're hunting for is financial independence from your parents. And the only thing you're trying to catch sleep between classes and there's no gym badge for waking up on time i mean come on what happened to us at some point the wide eyes start to squint and you realize the world is just kind of fucking falling apart but hey best of luck to you right yes these memories can be painful those confusing late night thoughts aren't in vain there's a reason you feel like this there is because behind all of that change is growth. Hard-earned EXP the grindy way. And in some ways, that's very, very beautiful. You shed your adolescent skin as you're preparing for more responsibility, whether you want it or not, and the ability and opportunity to really be your own person, finally. The thing that you've always wanted. Maybe it's less about me not being able to sit down and play games and more about the opportunity costs of life. If I don't constantly put pressure on myself to achieve my goals before I have back pain and bad eyes, well, I bet me and you both could sit down and save Cortana together. And you'd think the moral of this story is that we're trapped in nostalgic limbo, unable to start new games because it don't quite hit the same when you're not reliving your childhood and unable to play the games we grew up with because that's just it. We have grown up and we have an uncertain storyline and more side quests than we could ever turn in. But here I am still logging on a few times to hit my little farm run before logging out of the world of Gelenor. And I mean, my Game Boy is almost always right next to me. 
And my original Pokemon Emerald is right there. Right there. And even though I'm not going to play it, it just kind of makes me happy having it around. We are different from how we used to be. And as much as games have changed, I'm willing to bet we have changed too. Change is okay. Growth is all right. Things don't always have to be how they used to be. Looking back at those times just for a second where you weren't just grinding out life, sometimes kind of feels like your past self cheering you on. No matter how you think you're doing, I bet you they're more proud of you than you'd know. Hey, I hope you liked the video. And if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. It lets me know you enjoy this kind of content and these kind of videos in general, which is not my forte. And if you want to watch me live, there's a link in the description to my Twitch channel. And I'm live Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So I hope to see you there.